Hello and welcome to Mount Royal. In this video, I will take you on a quick tour of my MRU to highlight useful tools before you attend an advising session. To go to my MRU, click on the link in the upper right hand side of any mtroyal.ca webpage. Or you can go directly by typing mymru.ca in the address bar. In order to log into MyMRU, you will need your username and password. If you do not have your username and password, please take a moment before watching this video to activate your account. The Home tab is the first screen you will see when you log into MyMRU. There is a lot of useful things on this tab, so we encourage you to explore. Across the top, you can see two navigation bars. The dark blue bar contains links to your Mount Royal email, your Google Drive, and Blackboard. Blackboard is where your professors may post course information, such as assignments or even grades. The light blue bar shows other tabs that you have access to. Your tabs may be different than the tabs another student has. Typically, students have a Home tab, Applicant, Register and Pay, My Program, Academic Success, Student Life, and Financial Matters. We are going to take a closer look at the Register and Pay tab. To go to the tab, click on the words Register and Pay. The Register and Pay tab is where a lot of the business of being a student can be done. You will see separate blocks here that allow you to pay fees and deposits, view and order textbooks, rent a locker, or even buy a parking permit, among other things. The Register and Pay tab also has a very important block called Register. There are four options in the Register block course listings, lookup courses, register, and my course schedule. Course listings will allow you to look up the descriptions, prerequisites, and other details of specific classes. The next video will show you how to find course descriptions. Lookup courses is where you will go to search and register for your courses. This link and the registration process will be covered in another tutorial. The third link, Register, Add, Drop, Withdraw Courses, is used only once you're done registering in your classes and then want to make changes. Lastly, My Course Schedule will show you the details of the courses you are registered for, including the days and times you have class, as well as their location on campus. That's the end of looking at the register block, but there is one more tab in my MRU that is important for new students to familiarize themselves with, the Academic Success tab. To access this tab, go to the light blue navigation bar and click on the words Academic Success. The Academic Success tab contains all sorts of information on how to make your post-secondary journey as meaningful as possible. You might see posters of events to enhance your experience. When you scroll down, there are a couple blocks for student learning services, where you can get free support for writing, studying, math, and much, much more. On the left-hand side, there's also a block for MRU Graduate. MRU Graduate is able to show you which classes you are taking or have previously taken, including transfer credit, and where they fit into the degree you wish to graduate from. There's a separate tutorial on how to use this tool. This concludes our quick tour of my MRU, but there's a lot more information on my MRU that isn't covered in this tutorial. So we encourage you to explore the other tabs and really get to know the MyMRU system. Thanks for watching.